Hello, Anthropology 2 students. This is Dusty, and I just want to let you know that I've recently posted an extra credit assignment focused on the anthropology of Halloween. You can find the extra credit assignment posted under the Unit 2, Module 3 section of your Canvas page. Now, students have the opportunity to choose two different assignments. Uh, please only choose and complete one. Uh, each assignment is worth 10 extra credit points. The first choice is focused on Halloween costumes, sexuality, and gender, and it's based on an article that I recently read by Dr. Adrian Glasgow. Dr. Glasgow suggests that there has been a trend over the last few years for women to wear more sexy and revealing Halloween costumes. She suggests that women are choosing to wear sexy Halloween costumes because it's an opportunity to um, express their sexuality in ways that are taboo in everyday life. And they can express their sexuality without the fear of being slut shamed. And that's what makes it powerful. So if you'd like to earn 10 extra credit points, you'll have to attend a Halloween costume party and you'll have to conduct participant observation and quantify the different types of costumes worn by men and women. Uh, you'll need to write a one page summary of your participant observation. Uh, section two for that assignment is going to require you to conduct informant interviews and ask um, or interview at least three people and ask them questions about their costume selections. In addition, choice number one um, requires you to post at least two photos that document your fieldwork experience. You may choose to include a photo of the party that you attend, as well as people dressed in, in costumes that reflects your findings. Now, choice two is a compare and contrast assignment looking at Dia de los Muertos and Halloween. Now, I put this opportunity together because I've heard students in the classroom suggest that Dia de los Muertos is just Mexican Halloween, and it is not. So to earn 10 extra credit points for choice two, you'll need to um, do some background research focused on comparing and contrasting Halloween and Dia de los Muertos. I've included one source on the Canvas page, so students will need to find one additional source. Once you read two sources, you'll write a one-page summary. And please note that you must cite your sources using MLA format within the body of the text. Um, if you don't know how to use MLA format for citations, please look it up on the internet. Because if you don't cite your work, you will not receive extra credit points. Section two for that assignment requires you again to conduct informant interviews and ask at least three people questions about Dia de los Muertos and Halloween. I have a sample of questions listed on the Canvas page as well. All right, both assignments, if you choose to do them, are due before midnight on November 2nd. I will not accept any late extra credit work and they must be complete because I will not be offering any partial credit for incomplete assignments. Anyway, I hope everyone has a safe and fun Halloween or Dia de los Muertos. Be safe and we'll talk to you soon.